Hey there, have you noticed the growing demand for the skill UI UX designers? You know friends that companies everywhere are looking for experts who can create designs that are easy to use and keep users happy. As a UI UX designer, you are at the center of making digital experiences that people love, whether it's a smooth app, a user-friendly website or a product that just works. Welcome back to our channel today because we are going to help you get ready for UI UX interviews. We are going to cover the top 15 questions that employers are asking right now. These questions are designed to test your skills and how to solve problems and how well you understand what makes a great user experience. So we are going to cover these things. We are also going to walk you through the detailed answers, give you real world examples and explain why these answers work. By the end of this video, you will feel more confident and ready to stand out in your interview and land that job in UI UX design. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we begin, guys, if you are interested in a career in UI UX, then join our immersive UI UX certification program and become an expert in just five months. The course offers live online classes led by renowned faculty from IIIT Bangalore. Get hands-on with caption projects, craft your portfolio on Dribbble, and receive personalized coaching on top designer tools. And the best part, Simply Learn's job assistance is here to support your journey on every step of the way. Enroll now and unlock the endless possibilities in the realm of UI UX design. Without further ado, let's get started. So guys, here is our first question. That is, explain what UX design is. So guys, UX design or user experience design is about creating products that provide meaningful and relevant experiences to users. This involves the design of the entire process of acquiring and integrating the product, including aspects of branding, design, usability, and function. The goal of UX design is basically to enhance the user satisfaction by improving the usability, accessibility, and pleasure provided in the interaction between the user and the product. Now let's move on to the second question. That is, what is the difference between UX and UI design? So guys, difference is that user experience or UX focuses on the overall feel of the product, ensuring it's user-friendly, intuitive, and meets the user's need. UI or user interface design, on the other hand, focuses on the look and layout of the product, including buttons, icons, spacing, typography, and colors. While UX is concerned with the product's overall functionality and flow, UI is about how the product surfaces look and interact with the users. Let's move on to our third question. The third question is, what made you choose a career in UX design? So guys, you have to answer something like this. I chose a career in UX design because I have a passion for solving problems and improving how people interact with products. My background in psychology gave me insights into human behavior and I wanted to apply this knowledge to design digital experiences that are both intuitive and enjoyable. The blend of creativity, empathy, and technical skills in UX design is what drew me into this field. Now, let us ask the next question. So sometimes an interview can also ask you that what are the skills which is essentially required for UX designer and tell about those skills and tell about that do you have those skills or not? So it's a very basic question and could be asked for freshers. So you have to answer something like this, that essential skills for UX designers include user researching, wireframing, prototyping, and usability testing. Additionally, strong communication skills are also very important for collaborating with stakeholders and developers. A good understanding of information architecture and interaction design is also crucial. Okay, so you have to answer something like this. Basically, this is very rare that some interviewer is going to ask this, but if someone asks you, like, what do you think about this job role? What skills this job role requires? Can you tell or elaborate? Then you can answer something like this. Basically, it's just asked to freshers. So guys, the next question is, what are the responsibilities of UX professional? So guys, the main responsibilities of a UX professional includes conducting user research, creating user personas, and designing wireframes and prototypes. They also perform usability testing, give the feedback, and iterate on designs. Additionally, UX professionals collaborate on UI designers, developers, and product managers 
to ensure that the final product aligns with both user needs and business goals. Now let us move on to our next question. Those are the intermediate level question. So someone can ask you something like this, that how do you complete the research process before creating a UX design? So guys, the research process typically begins with understanding the business goals and user needs. So say like I start by conducting stakeholder interviews, user surveys and competitor analysis. Then I gather qualitative and quantitative data through user interviews, surveys and analytics tools. Based on this data, I create user personas and journey maps, which guide the design process. This comprehensive research ensures the design is user centered and aligns with the business objectives. I hope so. You would have got a brief idea like how you can answer this question. Now let us move on to our next question. That is, what's your top UX skill and its impact? So guys, you can say something like this. My strongest UX skill is user research and I'm able to gather and analyze data effectively, which allows me to deeply understand user needs and pain points. The skill has been instrumental in my ability to design solutions that truly resonate with users. For instance, in a recent project, my research led to a redesign that significantly improved user satisfaction and reduced drop-off rates by 20%. Now let us move on to our next question. Which skills do you need to refine as a UX designer? So you can say something like this, while I'm confident in my research and prototyping skills, I believe there's always room to refine my visual design skills, especially in terms of mastering the latest UI design tools like Figma and Adobe XD. Additionally, I'm working on improving my data analysis and skills to better interpret user analytics and integrate those insights into design processes. So guys, you can say something like this for this question. Now let us move on to our next question. That is, name two important trends in UX design. So you can answer something like this. Two important trends in UX design are increasing emphasis on accessibility and rise of voice user interfaces. Accessibility is becoming priority as designers strive to create inclusive experiences for all users, including those with disabilities. Voice interfaces are also gaining popularity, driven by the growth of smart speakers and voice assistants, which require a different approach to designing user interaction. Now let us move on to our next question. That is, do you have to go to inspirational resources to help your design processes? So you can say something like this. Yes, I regularly turn to design communities like Dribble and Behance for inspiration. I also read UX blogs such as Nelson's Norman's Groups articles and Smashing Magazine to stay updated on best practices and emerging trends. Additionally, I follow thought leaders like Don Norman and Jared Spool, whose insights help shape my approach to user-centered design. Now let us move on to our advanced level interview question. So, your interviewer can ask something like this. So tell me about a time that a project was more complicated than its first seat. So you can say something like this. I once worked on a project to redesign a travel booking platform, which seemed straightforward initially. However, as I dug deeper, I discovered that the platform had a wider range of user personas with very different needs. This complexity required more segmented approach to user research and design. We had to create multiple user flows and test various prototypes with different user groups to ensure final design met everyone's need. The project took longer than anticipated, but the result was more personalized and effective platform. So you can describe a project something like this that turned out to be the complex, but how you tackled it. It also shows your problem solving skills. So guys, please be ready with this question because this is the most frequently asked question in the interviews. Now let us move on to our next question. That is, what is the biggest challenge in your UX career? So you can answer something like this. The biggest challenge that I faced was leading the redesign of legacy enterprise software that had a large established user base resistant to change. The challenge was to modernize the interface while maintaining the familiarity that long time users depended on. I approached this by conducting extensive user research to understand what elements were most crucial to users so we implemented the redesign in phases, providing training and support to ease the transition. The project was successful with users eventually adopting the new design and providing positive feedback. So guys, this was one of the experience which I have shared, but you have to share your own experience, okay? But a template would be something like this. So guys, I hope so. You would have got a brief idea regarding this. Now let us move on to our next question. So our next question is, which method would you use to enhance our product's UX? 
You can answer something like this. To enhance your product's UX, I would begin by conducting a comprehensive usability audit to identify any pain points in the current design. This would involve usability testing with real users, analyzing user feedback, and reviewing analytics data. Based on the findings, I would prioritize areas for improvement and develop design solutions that address these issues. Additionally, I would suggest implementing an iterative testing processes to continuously refine the design based on user feedback and performance metrics. Now let us move on to our next question. That is, what's your most significant success in your career as a UX designer? So you can answer something like this. My most significant success was leading a project that resulted in a 30% increase in user engagement for financial service app. The original design was confusing to users leading to high abdomen rates. After conducting thorough user research, we identified key pain points and redesigned the app user flow. We implemented the changes gradually, incorporating user feedback at every stage. The final design was very well received, resulting in significantly higher user engagement and satisfaction. So guys, you can use certain templates like this, but it should be your own success if you have experience. So these questions basically are for those candidates who have one or three years of work experience so they can share their work experience to the given client or to the interviewee. Now, let us move on to our final question. So our final question is, what do you hope to achieve in your UX design career in five years? So guys, this is a very important question because when you're going for an interview, your interviewer will definitely try to know your vision in your given career. So you can answer something like this. In five years, I aim to be in a leadership role where I can mentor and guide a team of UX designers. I also hope to have a strong portfolio of successful projects that have made a significant impact on user experience and business outcomes. Additionally, I want to continue refining my skills, particularly in areas like service design and UX strategy to contribute to more holistic and user-centric product development. So guys, this is a template where you can use also to define your vision or if you have a better template like which you have thought about your because this is a very personal question so you can answer something like this but this is a very basic template which i have given you so guys these questions and answers were tailored basically to provide a comprehensive overview of your skills and experiences and also covering foundational knowledge and advanced ux concepts so that's for all for today's video if you have any question guys drop them in a the comment box below thank you guys for watching this video Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.